Check leakage directional valve. Before carrying out any work on the system or the lift control valve, the safety regulations and precautions must be observed. It is important to follow all the instructions and information in the associated documentation. Close the ball valve and remove the lever. Push the extension pipe onto the handle stub of the hand pump as far as it will go, then retract by approximately 3 cm. Turn the piston creep preventer clockwise through 90 degrees. Push the hand pump handle down until the pressure is completely relieved. Turn the slack rope safety device counterclockwise to the original position. For the I-500, close the ball valve and remove the lever. Remove the M3 screw from the solenoid plug. Screw it into the opening of the lever of the emergency lowering. Pull the M3 screw and simultaneously press the lever of the emergency lowering until the pressure is completely released. Screw the M3 screw to the starting position on the solenoid plug. Place a suitable oil drip tray below the valve. System has to be depressurized. Check pressure at gauge. Loosen the screwed plug with an 8mm Allen key. Remove the spring. Pull out the directional valve with a rod magnet. If no rod magnet is available, slowly operate the hand pump until the directional valve is forced out of the bore. Check sealing cone on directional valve for damage. If no damage is visible, clean the directional valve and reinsert it. In case of damage, use a new directional valve. Install the spring and screwed plug correctly. Install the lever. Slowly open the ball valve. To bleed the system, perform a downward travel or, with the ball valve closed, perform a return upward travel for 10 seconds. Perform a new leakage check after approximately five upward and downward travels.